And now for our Sunrise Smart Start. First responders had to give uh, two drivers Narcan last night at the scene of two separate crashes in Rochester. The first at 6.30 on St. Paul Street where officers found a car crashed into a tree with a driver unconscious. Then at 6.45, another crash. This one on Atlantic Avenue where another driver was unconscious after backing into a tow truck who stopped to help. Both drivers were told were taken to the hospital and are facing charges. Former Congressman Chris Collins will be sentenced today in a Manhattan courtroom. He resigned from New York's 27th congressional seat in October after pleading guilty to insider trading charges. He was accused of using inside information from a medical biotech firm to help his family make illegal stock trades and avoid hundreds of thousands of dollars in losses. He's scheduled to be sentenced at 2.30. One of the members of the new Police Accountability Board in Rochester is an ex-convict who now devotes his life to helping others re-enter society after time in prison. Miquel Powell was convicted of second-degree assault in 2002 and served six years in prison. After he was released, he founded the Reentry and Community Development Center. He's also a substance abuse therapist. We have much more about this on our website, rochesterfirst.com. Some property owners across the state. They're pushing back against a new law meant to help tenants. The Housing Stability and Tenant Protection Act is designed to crack down on property owners who seek profits off substandard housing. But now some landlords in Rochester are pushing back. They say they're concerned about overregulation, and the new law, they say, may wind up hurting tenants instead of helping them. Well, Rochester Donut Shop Donuts Delight announcing the opening of a second location in celebration of its 10th anniversary. This was yesterday. The second location is expected to open this summer on West Ridge Road. The new store will be at the former location of an old bar, the Dog House, on West Ridge, the same plaza as uh, Bathtub Billy's. If you're getting a donut this morning, you're going to want some extra hot coffee, right, Mr. Gilbert? Yeah, I think so, uh, for sure, uh, to keep you warm on this chilly day. Watch out for snow showers. They're around. Don't think we're done with that yet. I think we continue to see light snow showers across the region. Temperatures, though, that will also be the story. 13 degrees. It feels like one. It's been hanging around zero. But look at that visibility. Uh, 1.75 miles. That means we do have the snow showers around your smart start forecast. Uh, looking ahead, only in the upper teens for this afternoon. But by 2 o'clock, I do think we could see some sun. So don't think that is out of the question there. So uh, kind of a nice winter day. I love getting the sun, even if it is bitter cold out there. Yeah, I know. Trying to look at the positives in 2020, and the sunshine is definitely one of them. Yeah, for sure. And of course, more snow this weekend, so watch out tomorrow. Stay with us. We'll have more updates uh, on that. All right. Well, stay tuned. Thank you so much, and thank you for watching News 8 at Sunrise. Our next update in 25 minutes. CBS This Morning starts right now.